pals, it's your girl Kiki and in this video I'm going to show you my up to date 2020 wash and go routine for healthy and strong hair. So if your hair's feeling a little bit dry, I suggest you watch to the end. So today's objective is to be able to identify the key methods of a successful wash day routine. The first part of my wash day is hopping in the shower and saturating my hair fully with water so that it's ready for shampooing. The shampoo I'm using today is a lavender and mint clarifying shampoo from Shanyi. I've never heard of this company before but I did get sent the line of products. Um, and I was really enjoying the clarification it gave me. It was really good for removing buildup. And I'm just going in with my Urso Kelly scalp massager, just working in the products to my scalp. I find this really useful just because I do find it difficult sometimes to get to my scalp and give myself a good head massage. So this is great. So now I'm just going to rinse off the first shampoo off my roots, just let that soak through the lengths and the ends of my hair initially and I do normally go in with a second shampoo just to make sure I get all of the build up off the lengths of my hair. So as you can see now, I'm just using a little bit more shampoo and I'm working that into the lengths of my hair to make sure that I get rid of all of the products, not just from the roots, but from the ends as well. And I did find that this shampoo was a really nice detangler as well. Usually with shampoos, I don't find it um, easy to detangle, but this one was giving me some really good slip on detangling. So I decided to put some more on. And now I'm just going to apply my deep conditioner. This is another one of Shanyi's products that I got sent. It is a lavender and mint deep conditioning hair restorative smoothie. It smells absolutely beautiful. And as you can see, I am a little bit heavy handed. So I go in with a lot of products. I do love my conditioners. So I slap that on there. So after I've finished finger detangling, I then go in with my Denman brush, making sure I evenly distribute the conditioner all over my head and get out any of the knots and tangles that I didn't quite catch with the fingers. And finally, I'm just going to twist up my hair into four sections. I always feel like twisting my hair just make sure that the hair doesn't knot or tangle up just because it's in a stretched state. And then I'll just go ahead and clip it all the twist on top of my head and put a deep conditioning cap on and leave that on for about 30 minutes to sit and really penetrate all of my hair. So after I've rinsed the deep conditioner out of my hair, it is time to do the lock method. Now I use cold water to rinse out conditioner usually, um, just because my hair tends to be shinier and 
it closes the cuticle for me i know some people prefer warm water so whatever works for you here i'm just sectioning my hair into two sections one down the middle and then i part within that section as well so i usually work in about four separate sections to apply my leave-in products the first thing i'm going to use is the camille rose naturals and um, leave-in this is something new to me um, but at the moment it's what I'm using and I'm really enjoying the moisture it gives me so I'm just raking that through next I'm going to go in with the aloe whipped butter gel um, again this is something I do not normally use but I'm really enjoying it at the moment it's lovely and thick and it moisturizes my hair for days on end so I go ahead and rake that through as well after the butter I use um, some oil so at the moment I'm using grapeseed oil I've been using it for a while now so I just do my leave-in my cream and then I put the oil in I do the LCO method and um, not the lock method I just find that works a little bit better for me and I'll just go in with my Denman brush to distribute the product and it just helps clump my curls better a little bit more if I go in with the Denman after um, and now I'm just applying my gel which is the Camille Rose Naturals curl maker love this product the slip is absolutely amazing and the moisture levels are on 100 so applying the product I am again raking it through I always tend to rake through first just so I get every single strand because my hair is very thick and then after that I'll go ahead and smooth and do the prayer hands just to clump the curls and smooth them a little bit more have a look at the definition and then I'm just going to repeat this process throughout my whole head so same thing section apply my leave-in apply the butter the oil and use the Denman and then grab the gel and rake through the gel and smooth. So I'm just finishing the whole process after applying it throughout my head. As you can see, I've noticed that there's a little bit of frizz. So if you have frizz, you want to just re-wet the section that is frizzy and smooth it down, go in with the Denman just to try and re the curls and then do the prayer hands and if needed, use some more gel on that section and it should turn out fine. So there we go, all done. And then I just leave to air dry. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to keep up to date with all of my amazing curly hair and fitness tips. See you in the next video.